here at Guitar Tone Central, usually we're checking out how tones sound. Instead, today, we're going to take a trip and find out how they're recorded. Hey, listen, I wanted the folks to learn a little bit about Rising Sun Music here in Tampa, Florida. So uh, tell us a little bit about your studio. Well, I produce, I do songwriting, record, teach. I um, also teach copyrights, teach audio. Um, we work on all genres. Uh, we do a lot of original music productions, uh, karaoke, metal, punk. You know, we're just doing a punk band right now, funk, hip hop, all styles. Um, we have over 25 high end preamps, so we can cover anything live drums, you know, drum machines, whatever you want. You can locate us at risingsunstudios.com or call me at 813 340 6126. Best way to get a hold of me is to text me. Folks, this is why we're here, is because John works on so many different genres that, you know, tones are ever changing on what, what the music requires. So one of the things I wanted to find out as part of Guitar Tone Central, we're, we're, we're not really comparing pickups here, but we do want to learn more about what, what goes into your selection of pickups for when if like the punk band you're doing, or you might be doing reggae next week. Mm -hmm. How do you decide what pickup you want to use for a given style of song? Well, it depends on, of course it depends on the genre because some genres are more clean some genres are more heavy, like metal or rock, right? Uh, if it's reggae, then you want a more of a cleaner tone, something that doesn't overpower, and you can hear the picking, right? Mm -hmm. So usually when I do blues or, or reggae, I'm, you know, there's a, there's could be a different amount of pickups, but if it was reggae, I kind of go with single coil. Mm -hmm. I have a guitar on the wall that's a Strat, and um, the guys love it because, you know, there's noiseless pickups on it. Right. And um, so it's very clean and it uh, cuts through. If I'm working on rock, I usually like using like EMG pickups uh, to get that big sound for the rhythm. Humbuckers? Yeah, humbuckers, yeah. Uh, and um, I have a couple different kind of EMGs. I also have a Les Paul uh, style pickup that I use. And then, but then I have a Strat on the wall that has an ebony fretboard. Um, and that's got single coils, but it sounds really good when you mix it up with the humbucker and the strat, because then you got the, you know, you, you got, because it has that ebony fretboard, it has a darker sound. If I want something to cut through like a very high, you know, leaves, fast lead, I'll, I'll use my green monster, like I call it. And, um, well, green monster, we got, there's a guitar with its own name. We got to see that. So it's yeah. a it's a Fender Strat. This is the Green Monster. Yeah, it's an '80s model. I got it back in uh, I think it was '86, '86, and then um, now it you, has uh, lace sensors, lace sensor pickups, folks. So we haven't done these on the channel yet, but we will get to them uh, eventually. So what is it you like about these these well, pickups? This, this particular guitar is is one of my favorite guitars because it's very silky to play because I love maple necks and stuff like that. But one thing I like about it is I can get a lot of speed out of it. You know, it's very, you can just, it's very distinctive in how it does it. It doesn't have a lot of low end, you know, so if I want something bigger, that definitely wouldn't be this guitar. I would, you know, I would want to go with a humbucker, like with the, with the Samia that's uh, right over there. So like you were talking about wanting clean tones for reggae and, and other genres I've like used that. this on re with, for reggae, but I, it has like a mid high bite. So it's, it, it sounds good for certain things. It is incredible with a Wawa. When you put a Wawa through it, forget it. It's, it screams all, all day long. But um, I use different pickups, so it depends on, on the song too. Sure, sure. Well, that's, um, that's one, of the th one of the questions I wanted to ask you. You're talking about pedals. 
And when do you decide, obviously the Green Monster is one of your go-to guitars when you're running through pedals. When, how do you choose what pickup or what pedal to get the tone you want for, for a given song? Or, or do you prefer to just run into the board and get effects, get effects digitally? I don't do that a lot. I only do it sometimes when I want to like have something that has less low end to it. Because I have a fully tube uh, preamp. Uh, box uh, tube amp. Box tube amp, and that's a really big, you know, sound. Uh, but if I want something that will give me something similar to it, I could run the pedal straight through my knee preamps and it'll get an incredible tone. It just won't be as big, and, and but, you know, but that depends on the style of music and what I'm trying, you know, trying to achieve. And you have another amp here that folks can't see it at the moment, but it's a solid state box as well. Yeah, it has two uh, 12EX7s on the preamp section going in, mm -hmm. but no tubes. It's solid state. It's just tubes going in, like you know, just on the input. So it gives it a little bit of a nice tone. It works. This is actually the perfect match for that Green Monster. Oh, that's when you the... put When you put them together, it's just like they're they're married, you know? Well, that's, that's one of the things that we find out as you cre create songs and... Uh, for those of you, you know, that create songs at home, you might not have as much variety of stuff as John has, but that's a good reason to come down to a place like this is because there are many dimensions to tone. It's not just about one pickup or two guitars tone. You, you mentioned the maple fretboards for mm -hmm. a brighter sound. You right. mentioned the ebony for a darker sound. Right. You combine a particular single coil, the, the lace pickups with a particular amp and right. that gives you so tone the tone you're using is well multi-dimensional it's right. it's and i think you would we had talked before tell us a little bit about how you use different pickups and combinations because you don't just record if you're recording a rock song or a punk song you're not just using one pickup for the guitar no, tracks no, no. i use one for each one actually when i produce bands like a, i've done a, several rock bands in the last couple of months the guys will come in and they'll have one guitar that they have and and of course i'll let them play their favorite part with the guitar not that i tell them what to do but i advise them right sure and then i say look don't you uh let's stack that guitar let's put it left and right so in other words the rhythm is playing on one side and he can play the same rhythm to create this big image effect but i'll tell him like use a use a stratocaster use the, the one with the ebony fretboard because it'll it, it'll match as well with metal as as far as a single coil pickup goes and then if they're going to do a lead, usually they're comfortable with their own guitar, but sometimes I'll advise them, try to do it with a different guitar. Mm -hmm. And they're amazed by how it sounds because all of a sudden there's this big wall the tone of sound. opens up. Yeah. yeah. And um, what are some of the favorite pickups? What are some of your go-to pickups? I know you've got your own custom, this one right here, mm -hmm. your own Rising Sun guitar, Yeah. which yeah. we at Somnium That's made my wife for right you. there. <laughs> So, yeah, this is an amazing guitar because I can change the pickups. And as you can see, I can go like this, see, and take and, and put any and, and set you, of pickups that I want. You were talking about EMGs. That's what you have in there now. Right, I have. Yeah, this is why I kind of left them in there because um, if I want to change it to something else, I will. And I have uh, another set of uh, single coils, which is, uh, are these right here. And these are diff this, this particular pickup is different from any of the ones that I have, so it is, it's a different tone also. So also, I use this for two types of things that I like to do, or actually three. I like this combination of this EMG uh, and with this Les Paul pickup. And what I do is, uh, I can reverse them, but I like the way it sounds like this, and especially sure. if I put them together, I get a big, huge sound. But if I want to do something very different, um, I call this the Czechy pickup. It's, you know, it, it, was it was designed made in, in Czechoslovakia, right, right. yeah. So it's like a little shorty right thing right there. But what's cool about this pickup is, and, and I know Mark can explain to it, it has six different outputs. So you could actually, if you had the guitar designed that way, you could have six outputs coming out going into different amps yeah. if you wanted to. I mean, who's going to do that? But you could. Sure. Now, but, um, and I, I would imagine that would be some wall of sound if you, if you wanted well, to. Well, yeah, because you could... You could not only, I know I've seen, it's a hexaphonic pickup. That's what John's talking about, mm -hmm. which means it has six separate pickups under one cover. And mm -hmm. there are actually six humbuckers under one cover. And yes, the, now this one has a single output for a really rich sound because mm -hmm. you can hear each string 
ringing on its own. And, uh, and it also has a gain board, which allows you to boost the gain, which uh, John, we could probably see how that works here in a minute. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there are some hexaphonics and we'll eventually modify that one that'll give you individual string outputs. Yeah, you could run a synthesizer with this if you wanted to. You could have one string be, be a drum right. when you hit it yeah, and another can. string be a, a, a violin or a synth. So yeah, it's possible to, to do that, but you don't use it that way. What, what's an example of when you would use that well, pickup? When you guys built this guitar for me, I, I when I found out what this did, I asked you if you could put like, I call it my secret weapon knob right here. So I can be able to control the intensity of the distortion. Sure. So what's really cool about it is if I went out to a live gig and I didn't want to bring a pedal board, I could just bring this pickup and then have the tone I wanted to, you know, by just, you know, for turning it up all the way, which is a lot of distortion and then less, which is kind of a grind. And then, um, and usually if I use this pickup, um, and I can show you real quick. Yeah, when while John's getting his amp on, what he was referring to, that little knob, it's a gain boost. And the pickup itself has a, a circuit board on it that boosts the gain of the pickup. So you can go from clean to gritty to outright dirty, mm -hmm. all in one pickup. That's what he meant by don't necessarily need a pedal board. You can get, you know, with an overdrive pedal, it's in the pickup. Right. So so that's the EMG right there. And that's without distortion. I just wanted to show it to you. So then sure. what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pickups here. I'm going to, can you hold this one yeah, please? Yeah. And then I'm going to use this one on the bottom. And this was a Gibson, right? Yeah, it's a Gibson Les Paul pickup, right? I don't know exactly the model number, but what did I do with that other pickup? On the amp? Oh, here it is. Yep. Well, all my stuff in here is black, so you got something black, it's very hard. <laughs> it disappears, yes. And I just changed my phone to red because of that, because I was losing my phone all the time. All right, so now I got it here, and now I got this on the top. See what, that's pretty, that's pretty you cool. Haven't... One thing cool about this is I want to mention is because you said, you know, you get all these different, you know, there's six separated uh, pickups. One of the things that does really well is that it does, uh, it does harmonics. It comes out really well when you're doing harmonics and stuff like that. So, because it has that separation, and I'm uh, looking for a guitar pick here real quick. Let's see, I'll just use this one. And uh, so, for example, see, it comes out really, it's really good for that kind of thing like that. So another thing is, if I want to, it took off the tone and it gave it a big, big boost to it. Mm -hmm. But if I bring it down, then it's kind of like a bluesy type of lead. Bring it up. And it sustains, like, look how long it stays, you know? There's no pedal in this, by the way. It's just completely clean. So it's running right through uh, the AC30 without any pedals or effects or anything like that. And that's amazing because you could just take this and, and this has a tone of itself. So like sometimes when I'm recording, um, I did this the other day, I recorded a metal song, a classical metal song, it's called Thievery. And I used uh, this pickup, then I used this one too. And then I used uh, the Ebony with the strap. The Ebony strap. Yeah, because that, the only reason why I would do that is only because that ebony gives it a, a darker tone to the to the single chord. And if I go down, I mean, and I've tried this, I've tried this before with two of these, and you had you had advised me maybe that's not a good idea, <laughs> and you were right. It was uh, you know it gave it a. Well, you know, it's it's all about creating tones that are multi-dimensional like you said you don't want to record the right. six tracks all with the same pickup and the same sound it's kind of cool that you switch down to the bridge and it's like a completely different guitar oh no it, it changes, changes instantly you know so instantly. so what, what what's cool about it is and it sounds good down here too but i, I like this particular pickup on the on in the, the neck in the neck it just gets it a nice warm tone to it so what's cool is you know like i said the more I mean, that's drastic. 
So it's really, it's got a really good tone to it. Right, so no pedal, that's just the change in no pickup pedal. or change in the boost on that. So those, these are some of your go-to pickups mm -hmm. along with the, the Green Monster. And, I, and I'm gonna, can I demonstrate one more thing? Sure. Real quick? Yeah, yeah. Let me do this one thing here. Let's uh, put this here. I won't be able to find it later. Let me go like this. This happened to me a little bit ago. But this also, this is, it's cool about this is, is that you could take this one guitar and if you were traveling, you can go in with a bag of, uh, you know, pickups. And now I got, you know, like a Stratocaster set up, you know? And, I mean, totally different guitar right there. I think this one you gotta go. Is this on the top one on this one? I always forget. Well, and, now if, there you go, yeah, bridge. There you go. That's your neck. But it's pretty quiet, you know. See how low it is, so. It's a very clean sound, you know? So. So what, what genres of music inspire you the most and what kind of, you know, what, what, um, pickups do you use or what I mean I don't know what what is a if you have a favorite whether it's blues or heavy metal or is everything you know you just I'm pretty much you know I'm not a like a a metal player like some people do a lot of arpeggios that's not me I'm more of a a rock blues latin funk player mm -hmm. right? that's the best way I can describe it because <laughs> I go back from one thing I'm very rhythmic I mean I played years ago with some of the best drummers and best percussionists in the world and a lot of times we were just doing like rhythm stuff and then we do avant-garde leads and stuff like that. So it wasn't like, you know, like you would go see a metal band that would play, you know, a certain particular style of music. It was sure. always this weird, you know, almost like a jam band type of thing. Mm -hmm. So I did that for, for years. And you're, you do that now still? I think you still play a Once in a bit, while, yeah. I was, uh, was out the other day with New York Joe doing some salsa. I mean, it's a totally different thing. I've got a, studio band I work with and we do rock. We do a mixture of Latin rock and kind of thing. So I'm, I, I'm into fusion a lot. I'm into world music and um, that's why I'm really good at working with multiple genres because I, I, I can cross over easily. Sure. I would get bored if I was like, if I had to do one thing all the time, it would, I, I would be bored to death. All right. Right. And, and you, so for the fusion stuff, is there any particular pickup or set of pickups you, or guitars that you tend to like for that? That's a good question. I would go back to the Green Monster. The right Green there. Monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, it, it would be to, between that and this one. I would be like, um, because then I would go back to this, you know, the same combination of having the, you know, the humbuckers. The EMG I mean? and the Gibson. Yeah, yeah, I like that combination actually. And I want to, I need to get with you so I can get the other EMG because I want to get there. There's a combination that goes with that one. And I'm but there's well. a there's a real difference between the Green Monster single coils and then these. Oh yeah. These I mean humbuckers. these are very these are quieter. So this this particular thing I would use it because it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be really good adding distortion to it. Okay. Because it's not going to be you know uh, it's not going to be as noisy as that guy would be. Right. I did that, you know what I mean? So there's like that noise factor that comes in. So, so I like that. So this, so I would, it's really, when I go live recently, I've done a couple of live shows. I've brought this guitar and I brought the green one. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, and, folks, that's why we're here. And that's why, well, let's kill that, kill that background noise for mm -hmm. a second. Um, that's why it's cool to visit a place like this and learn from John what goes into tone this is this is why we do music is to broaden what we learn even though I'm I'm a hard rock heavy metal guy mm -hmm. but listening to different styles and different types of sounds you know I get an appreciation for what what else can be done and different layers that go into music and combining different tones and even learning about tones that you know like with your green monster guitar mm -hmm. that I didn't know about so that's something that we're going to have to check out on Guitar Tone Central and John I want to thank you for thank for you your time and, it, and uh great to see you again folks please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below with the subscribe. notification bell yes and please like us and share us with your friends so they can all experience it's over here. all the great tones <laughs> that uh guitars have to give
So thanks again for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you again next time on Guitar Tone Central. Take care.